here are your directions for the Brown Girl Dreaming Poem if you're struggling. Um, so first of all, you're going to write a borrowed poem, which means you're going to use some of the text and change some of the words. So in this particular poem, she is um, describing her family by looking at photographs. So if you can imagine Jacqueline Woodson in the hallway, let's say, of a house, um, it's her it's her father's childhood house and there are photos. So here's how I would suggest you do this work. First, take the, your mouse and use um, command, nope, on your Chromebook, it's control, control C to copy and then control V to paste and go ahead and just copy and paste the original poem into the side that says my poem and then change the words. So let's say I'm writing this about my family. I'm going to say the ghosts of the Jagger house. And then I'm going to say the Jaggers are one of the few. My family's not black, so I'm going to say white families in this town. Their house is, my house is not big, it's small and it's gray and it does sit on a hill. So I'm just changing a few words of the poem to make it my own. That is what borrowed poetry is about, okay? Um, I'm gonna go ahead and copy the second stanza. I'm using control C to copy and then control V to paste. Look up and see them. I'm gonna get rid of the word up because it doesn't make sense to me. To see them through the small windows inside a hmm in my house you can't see into the kitchen i'm gonna say a hallway because you can see into the entryway filled with the light of a watery nelsonville sun so i don't live in nelsonville oh this shouldn't be jagger this should be nevado that's where i live she did not capitalize it so i'm not going to do that either I'm going to say inside Nevada, watery, does watery make sense? I mean, it's, it's a little bit cloudy out. I'm going to leave it for now. I might go back and change that. Um, in the parlor, a fireplace burns warmth into the long Ohio winter. I'm going to say in the family room, candles, bring warm smells into the long California. I'm going to call it a lockdown. <laughs> it's kind of negative. Okay, so that's how you're going to do it. You're going to go through and make it your own by changing certain words. Now, when it gets down to the family part, she discusses or she brings up several people that are actually in her family and you can do the same thing. Okay. I hope that helps. If you're still stuck, please um, send me an email.